Welcome to your new touchy feely monarchy for 2018. The protocol used to be that we were not allowed to touch members of the royal family, except for a handshake, and then only if the hand extended first. For some, a grope from the Duchess of Copperfield, or a hug from the Countess of Cuddles will be a higher honor than being appointed into the Order of the Garter. It is usually people like me who spend hours poring over protocol breaches of the great unwashed reaching out and touching royalty. How can we forget the huge drama over Michelle Obama's hand going into the small of Her Majesty's back back in 2009? Although, as is often forgotten, the Queen did actually initiate that by placing her hand on Mrs. Obama's back. Clearly carried away in the then Obama fever. In 2014, American basketball player Lebron James popped a big, sweaty post-game arm around the Duchess of Cambridge. Forget the royal etiquette bit there, who wants to be engulfed by a clammy limb? Not a pristine Duchess, that's for sure. She smiled and hid it well, mind. This week during their Royal Highness's very successful official visit to Scandinavia, the Duchess of Cambridge decided to throw caution into the wind and high-fived several Swedish sprogs as she trotted down on an icy Stockholm street. On Wednesday, the Duchess of Cornwall and broadcaster Eamon Holmes shared a peck on the cheek at the ITV studios during a rather than that faultless receiving line of daytime faces. Diana wanted to be a form of anti-monarchy, which worked for her at the time she was doing it, but it won't work for the actual monarchy. The more normal they are the weaker their majesty becomes. It's not just the increasingly tactile traits they have adopted. This other royal demeanor extends to their vocab. The Duchess of Cambridge was once heard addressing her husband, the second in line to the throne, as babe. It's hard to imagine Prince Philip ever turning to the Queen and addressing her as such. Please understand that I have absolutely no nasty Republican tendencies, and wish for our royal family and monarchy to last for time immemorial, but, frankly, at the current rate, that just isn't going to happen.
they must all be nice people, yes, and they are, but it seems that it's now all a bit too chummy and informal. Isn't it also a bit patronizing to the rest of us to think that, unless we show buckets of falls, hollow affection and schmooze the crowds, that they won't cheer and love us? We all know that royal funding is not the most secure fiscal fixture. The more that the royal family behave like your average Joe, the weaker the argument is to give them that funding. It used to be the protocol that we can't touch them. N O W. Seemingly, the protocol has changed. We may touch them, but only after they touch us first. <laughs> 